there, I'm Shannon, and I feel like it's been so long since I just sat down and recorded like a serious one-to-one -one video with you guys. Today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about plastic surgery and my experience with it in the recent years. A lot of you guys may know I've had, I don't want to say a fair bit of work done because I really haven't. Just transparently, I have had a breast augmentation. I went from literally like a double A, which is about as small, like pretty much completely flat chested as you can get to a like medium C cup as you guys can maybe see. I don't know if you're looking <laughs> at my chest or what, but I know you are now. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. I really don't care. We're talking about it. So, so yes, I've had the breast augmentation. I have had lip fillers once and that was about two years ago as well. So they're really old, but I do still think they're in there a little bit. And I've also had like actually extensive work on my teeth done. My teeth that started out like purely cosmetic and ended up being like actual medical necessity after years of doing stupid fucking shit. But that's a story for another day. Today we're here to talk about my breast augmentation. Like I said, when I got this done, I went from a double A to a medium to borderline big C. I'll back up, give you guys like a little side profile just so you guys can see. And like I said, I'm going from as a teenager when I got this done, believe it or not, I was 19 when I did this. Part of the reason probably why I regret it was I did it so young. So yeah, I went from completely flat to what would be considered like the large end of normal on someone of my build. It was something I really wanted my entire teenage life, maybe even before that, honestly, because truth be told, I was always bullied growing up for being so flat chested. You don't even have to imagine things like mosquitoes mosquito bites. I'm pretty sure that was from South Park. Everyone fucking called me that for a long time. Just so many things. And as a young girl, it does really, really get to you and eat away at your self-esteem. And in terms of plastic surgery, I feel like breast augmentation is so normalized. Like growing up, I saw so many women around me with it. Like it was more normal to have one than it was to not. Even people really, really close to me have had theirs done. So Going into this, I was of the mindset that this was something all women did, which may or not all women, but quite a few women, a lot of the majority of women did, which may or may not be the truth. Um, I actually haven't looked into the statistics of that, but that made it way less scary to me. So when I woke up from surgery and I felt like I had literally been hit by a truck, you guys, I was not expecting that. Look, I knew it was gonna be painful and I knew it was gonna be a big change. That was not anything that was like a foreign concept. I understood that. However, with how many fucking people do it, I couldn't believe how bad it hurt. You girls decked out in tattoos. I've, I've broken bones. I've done a lot of painful shit. Every piercing under the sun, uh, lip injections, like I said, those pretty, sucked pretty fucking bad but honest to god the breast augmentation especially jumping so many sizes i don't even know technically how many sizes double a to a medium large c is but jumping so many sizes um it literally felt like i had gotten in a car accident or like my chest had been crushed or something like that it was it was borderline excruciating way worse than I expected. Even with the pain though, I don't think that was what made me regret it at all. In the beginning, I honestly loved the way that it looked. And to this day, I still don't like hate the way that it looks. Like I like the way that it looks. It's just not me anymore, if that makes any sense. This is not my natural body, which to some people is totally fine and they don't give a fuck. And like the same thing could be said about my wig or whatever but this is like physically under my skin. I have submuscular implants. They're saline, not silicone, because when you're 19, if you're under 21, you can only get saline. I don't really know why that is. I believe it's just safer if they pop, like maybe 19 to 21 year olds do stupid shit and might pop their boobs or something, but I, I don't really know. When you initially get your implants, they sit really high. Like, I, like I'm not even kidding. They were probably up here. I'll throw a picture on the screen. They look rock hard and you're you're told that this is not what they're gonna look like. They need time to settle, which is very true. But even with like the rock hard boulder chest look, 
I was still digging it at the time, like fresh out of surgery. Healing was a pretty long process. I think I was like actually bedridden for several days and then I was wearing like some sort of compression bra for a long time. I was also on some sort of like hydrocodone or oxys of some sort because like I said, hit by a truck levels of pain, I'm not kidding. Once I had finished the cycle of the painkillers, I was in significantly less pain, uh, but the pain was definitely still there. As time went on and the days turned into weeks, the pain became more so like discomfort. I don't necessarily know that this discomfort is something that the average person who gets implants will feel, but I definitely felt it. Um, all I could really focus on was the fact that there was something in my body that's not my body. There's a lot of pressure, which honest to God might just be what normal boobs feel like, but since I've been flat chested my whole life, I am not used to it at all, and I just cannot stop thinking about it. It's been years now, I'm 25 at this point, so I've had these for six years, and to this day, I am hyper conscious of the fact that these are on my chest almost at all times. It's really fucking annoying. One of the reasons I was actually inspired to make this video is that I was watching a podcast, I believe it was H3 or something, and I overheard Anissa, uh, iDub's wife, talking about getting her implants removed and how she felt the exact same way. And I was really surprised because I thought this was just like a me thing this entire time. She related to her neurodivergence, which I mean, I can obviously also very much relate to. And I mean, it all just, it. it it made me feel like I had to get on here and share because this is clearly a more common experience than we, or I at least, thought it was. The other reason that I decided to make this video is that I was actually scrolling Reddit today and I came across this post that was about a survey that was done on women who had gotten plastic surgery. And I was kind of fucking shocked by this, you guys. Now take this with a grain of salt because I haven't done like extensive research into who this study was done by, who the company this study was done by. In a poll of 2,638 people, which is a super fucking random number, by the way, um, <laughs> But regardless, in a poll of 2,638 people who had gotten plastic surgery, 83% of them said that they would never consider having another cosmetic procedure again. 83%, you guys, that is astronomical in my opinion. And another finding by the same study, which blew me away as much, if not more, is the fact that 65% of women completely regret having their cosmetic surgery. So 83% would never do another one and 65% completely regret their surgery in this study. That's a lot more than I expected. And uh, that prompted me to want to maybe get on here and like start the discussion, you know what I mean? Because I, I like as much as I've hated to admit it up until this point, I feel exactly the same way. On top of the fact that I just, I hate the pressure, I hate the feeling, it hurts my back, just the way they feel just sucks. On top of that, I've recently found my way into the fitness world and I've been lifting a lot and doing push-ups and work on my chest. And my boobs, I swear to God, you guys, because I'm building so much muscle in my pecs, my implants are moving farther apart from each other. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, from the get, this has been what I've hated about them the most, is that they sit so far apart, and this is no hate to my surgeon. Right now I've got a bra that's pushing them together, but they typically sit way out here, which is nearly in my armpit. Like, that's not comfortable. Right here is mainly where the pressure is killing me. This is no hate to my surgeon, like I was gonna say. He told me not to go this big, which I didn't listen. Uh, again, being 19 and fucking me. He also did pre-warn me that the way that my body is built, that they would sit further on the side than most people's, which was also part of the reason that I wanted to go bigger for some reason. I don't, I don't really know. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Yeah, look at this, when I flex my pecs, Look how far out to the side they go. Oh my god, I know you guys like only are getting a little bit of the effect under my clothes, but can I do one at a time? One. It's weird. I look like fucking Danny DeVito or something under here, you guys. I guess the reason I'm putting this in video format today is this is something that's been on my mind, troubling me for quite some time, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. And the fact that there's probably a lot more people 
apparently, than we even realize out there that feel exactly the same way that I do and don't have anywhere to talk about it. So with everything I've just said, what am I gonna do about it? Well, unfortunately, there's, you know, only so many options going forward and most of them are pretty expensive. Option number one is just leave them, which is a really shitty option, but that's what I've been doing so far, so while my day and my daily life is a little bit more uncomfortable than I assume it would be without them, I can manage to keep on trucking for now. I'll be fine. Number two is I can have them removed. That is what the goal is, you guys. I really, really would eventually like to get them taken out. I mean, sooner rather than later, but like I said, this is the expensive option. I guess the plan is a little bit of both. For now, I'm just gonna keep on trucking and saving as much money as I can because I am determined to, as soon as possible, get the operation to remove them. I know I could probably size down and be happier than I am currently, but my plan is to just completely take them out and do whatever resizing of the skin that needs to happen, which is really gross to say out loud, but yeah. Like a removal and a tuck, I believe, would probably be what the procedure is called. I don't know, I'm not an expert. Like I said, lightly seasoned in the world of plastic surgery, not heavily. Realistically, the timeline I'm giving myself to get them removed, to save up the money to get them removed, is I either think when I turn 30, which is another five years, would be a good timeline because that would make my uh, implants a little bit older than a decade old, which is when they recommend you change them anyways, even though I know most people don't, you really don't have to. Or instead of hitting my 30th birthday, my other point in time that I would want to remove them, if somehow this comes first, would be after having kids and breastfeeding, assuming I do that because that's my current plan. Whatever happens first, I'll be excited to see where uh, the universe takes me, but whatever happens first, um, I'm going to get my fucking implants removed after that because I, I can't live like this for my entire life. It was a mistake and um, I'm admitting it. Your girl's made lots of mistakes in her life and um, you know what? I share everything on YouTube so I'm here to tell you about another one. If you guys have any questions about where I'm at with my current plastic surgery or my future endeavors, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll reply to as many of you guys as I can. I'm sure people are curious. I get asked about this a lot so fire away. I, I take no offense. Leave them down there. I'll respond to as many of you as I can. And if you have your own stories of something similar or anything in the same vein regarding getting work done or plastic surgery or regret of body modifications of any kind, let me know. I'd love to hear your stories in the comment section down below. I hope you guys found this uh, helpful or at least just enjoyed our little chat as friends. Uh, like old times, I'm definitely going to be making more of these because it felt really good to talk to you guys. I missed you so much. This like face-to-face -face setting. I love it. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. That would mean the world to you, girl. If you guys want to support me, the best way that you can is by becoming a channel member. You get lots of fun perks like badges, emojis, access to my exclusive Discord. So if you're interested in any of that, as well as a bunch of other things that I have in the works right now, make sure you check out the link at the top of the description to join the Shan fam, or click the join button if you're on desktop. Subscribe if you're not already. We're almost back in the green, you guys. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to hit the motherfucking positive. So please hit that subscribe button and also turn on all notifications because I know you want to. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you very soon, whether it's in next week's video or a stream that I do here on the Hey There, I'm Shannon channel every Monday and Friday. I bid you adieu and farewell until then. Take care of yourselves. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye guys! It's Shan Fam shout out time and as always I want to give a huge thank you to all of my channel members and an extra big thank you to my VIP channel members for supporting me as much as you guys do. Thank you so much to my VIPs today who are Johnny Socket, K-Pop Fam, Samantha, Shelby Lynn H, Carter Quinn, Danae Stewart, Karina C, CK's Nails, Star Harris, Hellfire Strike, Sydney L, Emerson, and Rick. Thank you guys so much again, and if you want to join us, link is in the description below, or click the join button. But don't you dare say that it's too bad, you're too two-faced to ever pick a side. And it's too bad, you're too two-faced to make up your fucking mind. We'll split you down the middle, this will only
hurt.